All right, we are outside of my filming studio right now, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna look at basically the setup that I use for making my YouTube videos and making my lives. So I remember when I first started making YouTube videos, and my YouTube videos looked something like this. Hey guys, it's Spencer from Buildapreneur, and I wanna do a quick review. Because and I couldn't figure out how all the other YouTubers were making these amazing videos with these amazing backgrounds, and their sound sounded so much better than mine, and I just couldn't figure out how they were doing it. And so this video is to help you solve the problem that I had, we're gonna look at every piece of equipment that I use, why I use it, and then of course, we're gonna have some links down below. Here we go. All right, so the first thing that's obviously the most important, and that is what camera I'm using. I get asked how I get like a clear picture and stuff a lot. So this is the Canon M50. I bought this plus two lenses uh, for about $700 about a year ago, so the price is probably lower now. Um, but let's talk about some of the reasons that I use this one. The first one is you're looking at it, actually on the screen you're looking at my wife, but you're looking at the, uh, at the one of the big reasons I like this, and that was this screen. And here, we'll come in here and look a little closer. This screen can actually flip out, okay? It can flip, so someone holding the camera can use it like that or it can flip out and then the person filming can use the screen. They can also, it's touch screen, so you can do things like stop and start and do all kinds of things like adjust on the screen. So all the buttons are right there for you as you're filming yourself. And, uh, and that's probably the big reason I use it. But the other big reason is if you come on this side, you see that button right there, a little teeny button. This actually lets you click it and you can connect to your phone. So when there's shots where I wanna be a little further back from the shot, I can set up the camera and uh, here's like one of those shots you can see on the screen here, but I can set up the camera and I can film myself uh, and start it all from the phone so I don't have to get up, click go, come back, film, go click stop again, it's all done from your phone. And I'm, you can see on the screen here kind of what, that's, what that looks like, just a simple record and unrecord. You can flash back and forth between the camera and uh, video and adjust things like lighting and stuff like that as well. So the next reason that this camera is super, super important for me is kind of like a solopreneur YouTuber is the autofocus feature. So we'll come in here and you can look closely at the screen and you can see right now it's uh, focused on that picture on the wall right there and really quickly I can stick my hand in front of it and it very quickly refocuses onto the hand that's in front of the screen. And that's very, very important if you're moving around and walking and doing stuff like that while you're on camera, it's very helpful. All right, now we're gonna move on to the microphone. And uh, this is where things get crazy in terms of how much money I've spent versus what I needed to spend. So you can come over here and you can look on my desk. This is what I call my microphone graveyard. These are all different microphones that I've tried in the past. The Yeti Mini, the Yeti, or the Blue Yeti. I've tried these headphones. I've tried these crazy headphones. I bought this little uh, Sabine Tech thing off a of recommendation. And then we can go up to here. And I don't know if you can see that but for a while I was using this boom mic, this Rode shotgun mic, which would point right at me and supposedly just capture the sound from me, supposedly. Now, if you go back through all of my YouTube videos, which I would love for you to do, by the way, go watch all 200 of those YouTube videos right now. It'd be awesome for me. But if you don't have time for that, uh, you'll, you'll see my journey and you'll, you'll hear a lot of the sound echoing. So I'm in a room about 12 by 13 and there's a lot of stuff and I don't have a lot of sound panels up right now. And so there were always echoes, and even with that really good shotgun mic, there, were, there was a sound that it was catching. And uh, you could hear like, I've got a vent, you know, an air conditioning vent in the room you probably can't see. So it caught everything. You know, in the middle of my video, the air conditioning would come on and the video is ruined. So what I ended up settling on, and what I'm using right now, as you can see, is the Rode Link Filmmaker Kit. And you can see it on my shirt right there. That's all I've got. And that comes down to right here. I've got a wireless kit on my pocket there. And we can head over to here. And just on top of the camera, you can see it's capturing all the information from my wireless mic and putting it in the camera. And in fact, we are using that camera right now to just to capture the sound. So you can see it's actually videoing. So the beauty of this is that you can see, I can run around backwards, I can run around forwards, I can dance, I can do whatever I want. And it's always very similar, crisp, clear sound. And uh, it's close enough to me that I can turn down the gain to almost nothing. And then when things are happening in my environment, like kids are talking outside doors and stuff, it doesn't capture that. Let's move on to lights. So you can see I'm just using two lights right now. And in fact, we'll, let, we'll kind of zoom in. You can probably see the color differences. This one right now has a lot wider of a light. Okay, and then you can head over to this one and you can see the light's a lot yellower, just so you can kind of see the differences. There you go, you can see each of those is yellow. That's all done on the back right here. So you can see you can, you can change how bright it is right here and here. You can install a battery if you want to go somewhere and then you can change how bright the light is and how yellow or white the light is. Now I'm sure there's like a technical term for the yellow light and the white light, but we're not gonna use those, it's yellow and white. So that's the first set of lighting and that's just how I light up my face. So you'll see here I've got um, this whole setup going on. 
But when I actually go to film, I use these complete noise dampening curtains or, and light dampening curtains and it shuts out all the light. Okay, so that's the, the, the foreground lighting, right? You can see that on my face and the background lighting. I actually use these cool lights right here. We'll flick them on so you can see them. Ta-da! That's what I use for my background lights and I have four of those that I'll use depending on the video. Now the really cool thing about these, you can see on my screen, I'm actually controlling it from my phone. And so all, all the light coloring and you can do strobing and stuff, all that's done just from your phone sitting at your desk. We'll come over here and show you what we're talking about. Okay, so the lights look like this. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like that, it's just a small square light. And it can light up walls really close like that, or it can light up an entire room. So you can see I can change brightness really, really quickly from the phone like this. You can see you can change colors really, really easily. Going from purple to yellow to blue. A lot of power there with those lights. And then you can look at the wall and see what it does to the wall. You can choose things like styles. You can make it pulse, speed up the pulse right there. Uh, a lot of really cool things that you can do with these lights to make your videos have a really, really cool background. So the next thing that I use is the Gorilla Pod that I'm using with this camera. You can see this stand is so versatile. So you can see here, this is me using it on a tree while I'm chilling in my hammock in the forest. That's one example of how versatile it is, but I can set it up all over my office as well. I can attach it to this pole. I can attach it to the door over there. I can attach it to the top of my uh, chair right here. This thing can, can basically bend into any position you want and grab onto anything you want. And then you can change the angle of your camera up here so that the camera angles um, in any way you want. You can see all the kinds of different things you can do with your camera right there. And that allows me to be able to get any shot I want as a solopreneur just doing my own videos.